I want to get Supriya Shrinath from the Congress to respond to this, that at this moment, the 2,000 rupee note is not being used, Supriya, for exchange. It's being used as a medium for hoarding and therefore, if the 2,000 rupee note is removed from circulation, that is actually a good thing. What we're seeing is a good thing according to Dr. Subramaniam, not something to be quarreling about. You can say that it's happened late, it should have happened earlier, etc., etc. That may be true, but it's not something which is wrong and even Mr. Chidamaram agrees with that. No, no, Rahul, I never said it was wrong. I said the government was wrong to begin with introducing a 2,000 rupee note. They blundered and we had paid a price for that blunder. And you know, people can come and sing tears of demonetization here. Yeah, this government celebrates anniversary of everything. Why do they never celebrate the anniversary of demonetization? Because it was the most draconian decision ever taken. I will just make one brief point though, Rahul, and I think this point needs to be debated. When you have these periodic, unplanned, trigger-happy things uh, happen in the Indian economy, it shakes the confidence in our own currency. And I will tell you the repercussions of this. Go back and see demonetization and go back and see how gold imports rose very sharply. Because people start holding money in gold or worse still, they start buying dollars overseas through Avala and all of that. I shudder to think this shakes the confidence in our currency, which is already under pressure. And I think which is why the government needs to have a more planned, detailed decision making and not have draconian steps. I never said it's right okay. or wrong. Sanju Varma, Sanju Varma, respond to this. Two things. One, why is the limit so low? Just 20,000 rupees, which means that if you want to return, say, 40, 50, 67,000 rupees, you have to go again and again to the banks. That sounds terribly inconvenient. Secondly, this is, as Mr. Chidamaram says, just rectifying a self-goal that you brought this note, which would have never been brought. It was against your stated intent. Now you are just correcting your own mistake. You know, Rahul, let me be very clear, uh, first and foremost, that on the 2nd of January this year, the Supreme Court, by a, by a majority judgment, actually upheld the demonetization decision taken by the Modi government in 2016. Point number two, there was only one dissenting judge and even she only questioned the execution, not the bona fide intent of the decision in the first place. Point number three, you say, you know, how many times will a person have to go to bank? I want to ask you something. 3.6 lakh crore worth of 2,000 rupee notes are in circulation, which you said uh, corroborated by your other panelists. Now you tell me how many transactions need to be done in a 2,000 rupee note to achieve 3.6 lakh crore? No, but let each, them, each transaction them, can no, only be 20,000 rupees. I'm yes, sure the so data intelligence unit will do the max, but... I, I, Rahul, can you please, what is wrong with you? Why are you heckling me? I'm saying, it, you know, with an upper threshold of 20,000 rupees per transaction, I want to ask you basic arithmetic, how many transactions overall need to be done over the next four months to reach 3.6 lakh crore? Can any of you please tell me that? Because you're making a big hoo halla about it. Okay, Tell go me on, the go number on. of transactions needed. Tell me the number of transactions needed. It is less than 2 lakh. And you are making such a big show about it. Please talk numbers with me. I want to ask you one more thing. I asked you at the beginning of the show. What is the total volume of notes today in the current country? It is 13,053 crore. How many 2,000 rupee notes are there? 214 crore 2,000 rupee notes. Which is only 1.6% of the total volume of notes in circulation. So Rahul... No, but why look at volume of notes? You have to look at value of notes. Volume of notes. Why are you looking at volume of notes? Obviously, if it's 2,000 rupees, look at the value of the notes. Why have you become a heckler? Why have you started heckling? Madam, if I say something, you are saying heckling. You are saying, if it's a 10 rupee note, you can look at the volume of notes. If it's 2,000 rupees, you look at value of note, not volume of notes. Let me talk about value. Let me talk about value. What is the value of total notes in circulation? Please give me the number, Rahul. 3.6 lakh crores. Huh? Uh, no, 3.6 lakh crores. No, no, no. Total Sanjeev, total Sanjeev, value of notes in circulation, Siddharth and Rahul, please correct yourself. Total value of notes in circulation, Siddharth and Rahul, please correct yourself. Can I finish? Rahul Srivastava is You are asking a question. Then when somebody gives you the answer, you are saying, why are you speaking? Yeah, that's what he's saying. Total value of notes in circulation is 32 lakh crores. Total value of 2,000 rupee notes in circulation in value terms is only 10%, about 3.6 lakh crore. Total percentage of 2,000 rupee notes in terms of volume in circulation is 1.6. If you look at value, it is 10%. No. If you look okay, at okay. volume, it is 1.6%. Okay, okay, so Sanju is monopolizing this. 
the big is deal, the big deal? The big deal is that what maybe is this note deal? should have never been introduced. That's point it number one. It is a calibrated withdrawal. Okay, you are calling it. Sanju, 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 you can't foist your opinion on everyone. Okay, we've heard you. Her fader goes down. Sanju, Sanju Verma, you have as much of a right to speak as do others on the show. You are foisting your view on the others. You've spoken. Give everyone else an opportunity. I'm running out of time. Uh, Supriya Shrinath, 15 seconds to conclude. You know, because I used to look at stocks, look at the US dollar and that's selling in cash right now in the other markets, 87.7. Look at where gold and silver are. And that tells you why this government needs to think through decisions. 87.7% in the cash market for the US dollar. That's not good news for our currency and you wait and see what happens tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm going to wrap up. 10 seconds each, Rahul Srivastav and uh, Siddharth Zarabi. Rahul, what Mr. Subramanian said that if people take large volumes, it will take them long time. The same thing was said in 2016. Didn't work out, all the money came back virtually. Second, this is not a popular currency among the masses, but in trading and retail and a wholesale world, this is the currency to be dealt with. 10% of your economy's cash in circulation will definitely have ripples in the system. It will cause setbacks, Rahul. It did last time around in 2016. This is an economy recovering from uh, uh, COVID and other uh, setbacks. I think it will create shocks. Well, uh, the economic impact will, uh, will pan out, but it's very clear that there is going to be a mix. People, those who are black money holders, and if they get caught, that's fine, but there is going to be a significant impact. More importantly, on the banking system, with all that new currency being brought into circulation. So, uh, the final point really, Rahul, at this stage is, as of now, I don't think anyone will be willing to take a 2,000 rupee note. Uh, okay. the, the promissory nature and the trust in that note has been done away with and that's no, the government's really decision. It's that any trader tomorrow, you go to him with a 2,000 rupee note, say it's valid till the 30th of December. He's going to say, nah, baba, nah, apne ko nahi chahiye. I'm going to keep my hand, you go give it to the bank, you give it to the RBI. 